Hey there, it's Dennis from BC Tesla Guy. Here back with another video, the license plate holder. So let me start off with when you purchase your Tesla, they attach this license plate holder here and it's just held in with 3M tape on the front. So I'm talking about the front license plate. So you just you pull us off and they put the plate on and then you just screw it onto here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, with heat, um, these can fall off. Um, on my previous car, it seemed to be a little bit loose. So uh, because I'm putting PPF on my car here, I don't want to attach this to the, uh, the PPF. So what I'm going to do is put on a different license plate holder. So again, this is just the standard one that the dealership gives you. And they'll put that on for you uh, when you pick up your car. So what I did do is I purchased the Quick Bandit license plate holder. It's here right here, so we'll do a quick unboxing. It's really quick to install. There's a security screw that you can put in there so that nobody can take it. But you can undo that screw and then you can actually um, clean the front of your car, so the very front part. So again, there's no contact with your paint at all. This just connects to the fins, which I'll show you during the install. But let's go ahead and get into the uh, unboxing. So I did open this up just to make sure that everything was in here. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So um, they'll give you a installation part. The one side here is the limited warranty. So they'll cover from uh, manufacturer defects. But if you damage it, it's not covered. And on the, uh, the back side, there's three steps on how to install it. So um, very simple. I'll go through that uh, with you. Um, this box here is I got a carbon fiber uh, license plate cover. I put one on the back, so this is the one that goes on the front. So we'll just go ahead and open that up as well. So here it is here. It's a real carbon fiber. Um, it, you would screw on the back part here on the top. This is the top. You screw the license plate in and then this connects to the bottom screws. So let's see if you can get a good close up of the carbon fiber. So yeah, it's really nice. I've actually coated this one already with uh, uh, Adams Advanced Graphene Ceramic Coating. So it'll just be easier to clean. It should stay cleaner longer. So that'll go on uh, when I install a license plate. So in the box, they uh, protect everything really well. So let's get rid of that. And so let's open this up. So there's a, um, it's, it looks like an Allen key, but it's a security key. So let's see here if we can get a close up of that. There you go. So it's like an Allen star key or Torx screw with a whole, uh, pin in the middle. So there's no way that anybody can just come up and steal this from you. They do provide the tool with it and the four uh, screws and they're Phillips screws, all black, which is good. Bit surprised that everything's just kind of loose. The, these, there's a couple of washers here. They should have been, oh, maybe there's, so there's, it should have been in this container. I'm not sure why it's not. But anyway, there's a uh, flat washer and a lock, locking washer. So that's all that. So this is it. It's uh made of like plastic. It's got 
four screws right here to hold the front plate on. And then there's this piece right here. So I'm gonna zoom in on this so you can see here, the license plate would mount right here. And then you can see that it keeps it off the, the back. So how this works is there's a lever right here that you push down into the locking position. And then this screw here is where the screw right here goes in here. So you can pre put that in there. Of course, I would put the locking screw in there as well. I would put this screw with a locking screw and then put that in here and just preset it. Just in a few turns. There's, it's quite thick here, so you can see on the back part as I turn it. How this actually works is it goes there and once it passes the lock, this is what the mechanism is. It stops it from going back. Okay, so let me pull that out. So again, how this mechanism works is these two here and the back ones here, they spread out as you move this. So let's see if I can show you that without moving it. So you can see that it goes down and then when I move it, it goes up. So what it does is it presses up against the main part of the grill and the V part right here, just the middle Thin. So it's not holding on the fins, it's holding on the frame of the piece. So it's really solid. So now why would you want this over this one here, the one that comes with the, the uh, with your vehicle? Well again, I'll just go through the steps. This is held on with 3M tap tape. 3M tape is really strong, so it, it will stay there. Uh, I have heard of a few people having the license plate fall off, but there's plenty of tape here, so, and there's not a lot of weight, so I don't know that this actually will fall off. I just noticed mine was a little bit loose on my previous car. So why would you get this? Well, one, you can take your license plate off so you can clean the front of your car if you ever need to. Two, if you have PPF on your car, I don't know that I'd want 3M tape taped onto it. This will not touch the PTF, so it'll work really fine. And it doesn't touch the car, like right here, it wouldn't touch the car at all. So it's really simple to install, so we'll go ahead and get into that right now. Okay, so here we are. This is the uh, thing, just make sure that the quick bandit is in the unlocked position, so you can see here, I'll hold that here so you can see what it does is it pushes those out and locks up here and then down there, not touching these fins. And then the V right here goes in here, which is the center one. So I'll unlock it. So you're going to tilt this in in an angle up against the bumper, slide that in, put it in the groove. Find the center spot to it. Press this down, that locks it in place. And then you're going to take that tool that they give you, and then you're... And you take this and just screw that in. Don't over tighten because it is uh, not really necessary. There's a locking screw on it. That's pretty solid. Okay, so the last step here is just mounting the license plate on the, um, the, the plate here. So there's four mounting screws here. Again, they do give you these screws and they are screws with a Phillips head. You don't want to over tighten them. 
So here's how it looks with the final install done. So I've got the carbon fiber cover on it. I've got the quick release. It's the quick bandit quick release. It's got the security screw on it here already done. And if you look down here, you can see that it doesn't touch anything here. So no concerns about it touching the PPF when I finally do get it installed. So I think it looks pretty sharp. Anyway, if you like the videos that I'm creating, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video.